Have you ever wondered how to do pour painting? Well, guess what? It's a lot easier than you think. So I use stretch canvas with this, and one of the hacks I use is I glue popsicle sticks with hot glue to the back. What this does is it gives you handles so that the paint doesn't get on your fingers as it pours off the canvas, because FYI, it is a messy painting method. And I'm just taking my regular acrylic paint and pouring it separately into different cups. Now here's the trick. A lot of people wonder how you get the paint to run so differently. And it's because I'm adding something called pouring medium. Apple Barrel also makes this. And I'm just going to do about half and half. I'm gonna pour it into each of the separate cups that I put the colors in and mix it really good. What this does is it makes the paint um, capable of running fluidly because this is called fluid art. And it's gonna keep it from cracking because we are gonna have a thick layer of paint on the canvas. So I'm gonna mix that pouring medium in really, really good. And then I'm gonna take an empty cup Okay, with this cup, I'm going to pour the colors all into that cup. And you can kind of swirl it around a little bit. The goal is to get enough paint in there to cover the entire canvas. But I'm combining each of the colors. You want to make sure you have light colors and dark colors for contrast. And I'm going to show you two different methods of this cup method. It's called the dirty cup method. Okay, the first one is called the dirty flip cup because I'm going to literally flip the cup over top of the canvas and then lift up like that it's so much fun kind of shake it off a little bit and then I'm going to very carefully start turning and tilting the canvas letting the paint run around and off the edges because it is a wraparound canvas you want it to get around the edges and any places you miss then I use my fingers I'm still getting a little bit on my hands but like I said the popsicle sticks do help um, keep down on the mess that gets on your fingers the next one is just a dirty pour and I just pour it over the canvas and then tilt it. I think this method looks more like a geode, which is really cool. And after it dries, it takes about overnight to dry. You can hang it right up. I think they are beautiful, gorgeous, so easy and so much fun. Just beware it is very messy. <laughs>